Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have learned about perpendicular, let's talk about perpendicular bisector. So what is bisector? Something which uh, bisects, that is something which divides a particular thing into two equal halves. So perpendicular bisector is a line segment that is perpendicular to a given line. That is why it is perpendicular and also passing through the midpoint of the line. So perpendicular bisector in short is that line segment which is not only perpendicular to the line but it also divides the line into two equal halves. So that's perpendicular bisector. So now let's see how do we draw a perpendicular bisector. Okay. So in this case, again, what we do is let's say that we are given a line segment AB and we have to draw the perpendicular bisector of this line segment. So that means we have to draw a perpendicular to AB such that the perpendicular passes through a point which lies exactly between A and B. That means that point P, so like till now we were considering some point P. Sometimes that point P was on the line, sometimes it was outside the line. In this case, that point P should be the midpoint of AB. That means that point P should divide AP into two e exactly equal halves. Okay, so what we do here is we take a compass, we consider A as the center and uh, the radius is slightly greater than half the length of AB, so slightly more than half its length. So let's say this is exactly the half, so slightly greater than that and then you draw a circle like this and you repeat the same thing for B. So slightly more than half the length of AB, so from this side this is half the length of AB, so slightly more than that and again you draw a circle. Now what do you observe? You observe that the two circles they intersect at two different points. Now let us call these points as M and N. So these are the two points where the two circles intersect. Now let's join these two points M and N. So when you join the points M and N, what do you get? You see that this MN is perpendicular to AB. So that is one thing. And the second thing you see that now this MN passes through this point P such that AP is equal to PB. Now how do you know these two things? So to verify this you can make use of the protractor to measure the uh, angle as 90 degree or not. To verify the second point you can make use of a ruler to see if the length of AB AP is equal to the length of BP or not. So if both of these are correct, that means you have successfully drawn a perpendicular bisector. So this is how we draw a perpendicular bisector. Now the concept everywhere remains pretty simple. So whenever we want to draw a, a perpendicular or a, a bisector, we always make use of arcs or circles. That's because circles will always have the same radius. So the moment you draw a circle, you know, a lot of things become equal. For example, here, when you, when you actually drawn the two circles, what happened was you for both the circles, you took the same radius. So because of that, a uniformity was maintained. The moment you change the uh, orientation of the compass and draw these two circles, you will never be able to get the perpendicular bisector. So it is very important that you maintain the same orientation of the compass when you draw the two circles considering A as the center and B as the center respectively. So let's try this. Draw a circle with center C and radius 3.4 centimeters. Okay, so first let's measure how much is 3.4 centimeters. We take the ruler, we take a compass such that we place the needle end at 0 and the pencil end at 3.4. So you have measured 3.4, now you bring the same compass and draw a circle. So this is our center C and this is the circle. So now that we have drawn the circle, we need to draw any chord AB. So I hope you all remember what is a chord in a circle. Chord is just any line segment which connects two points on the circle. So it could be any line segment joining any two points on the circle. So let us draw this as the chord AB. So let's name it as AB. Okay, now construct the perpendicular bisector of AB and examine if it passes through C. 
okay so how do we draw perpendicular bisector of ab so so just forget about the circle and everything just assume that you have this line segment ab and you have to draw its perpendicular bisector so let's take the compass now using a compass consider a as the center take the radius slightly more than half the length of ab so if we assume that half ab is somewhere here so slightly more than that and you draw a circle similarly considering b as the center and the radius slightly more than half the length of ab that is this basically you maintain the same radius for drawing these two circles and then again you draw a circle so red circle center is a and green circle center is b so you have drawn two circles now point of intersection of the two circles are these two points so what you do now you join these two points and what do you see that these two points passes through the center of the circle so if you actually try to examine this you see that they actually pass through the center of the circle so you see these kind of uh, when you are given these kind of problems you should be able to construct them because the concept still remains the same it is just that here you have to draw a perpendicular bisector of a chord but end of the day that chord is also nothing but a line segment Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.